Alright, home automation design. This is where you can contact me if you have any questions. Start with the control. This is the cool part. You can do it with an iPad or laptop or notebook. And the basic structure is that you have a web server set up connected to a wireless router. And then your clients uh, use a wireless uh, repeater similar to like a Wi-Fi shield. This is only $23, so it's a little cheaper. And this uh, internet device is, is only about $5. So the printed circuit board that connects to it, it's like an Arduino, has the same pinouts on these sides. Um, but it has a female connector here where it can snap to the ENC J28 or J60. To program it, use a CP2102. They're about three dollars on eBay, and they're slightly modified. You snip the reset line and connect a microfarad capacitor to the DTR line. This is what it looks like when you're programming, and it's a you select 328 on the Arduino IDE. which is right here in tools or you select this one we know Dwemi Lenovo 328 okay. and the power at all you can use a USB power supply there about three dollars on eBay this is how it looks when it's running minus a couple parts but this is the ground wire is this one and then the power is this one here this is a ENC 28J60, it's about $5. This one has 10 pins. Some of them I'm getting from eBay have 12 pins. This one runs off a 3.3 volt line. The 12 pin one is 5 volt line. And so it has its own voltage regulator on that part. So it looks when the PCB snapped to the and see your 28J60. Both the web server and the web clients are the same, look the same. Like I mentioned before, the pinouts are identical to the Arduino pinouts. So you can put a shield here. Uh, the ENC J28J60 uses some of these pins, and I don't have that information in this presentation, unfortunately. Um, this is how it looks. The web server, you got it connected to a wireless router. I think this router this is the 5 volt power supply at the ground wire. The sketch, this should be modified for your particular router. Right here, I have my router is at 0 0.1, so to be on that subnet, I have my web server at 0 0.50. So you need to modify this line as well as this line here. Uh, just for example, you can also control X10 components with an Arduino. So you can turn lights on, off, etc. Now to make the whole thing mobile, the clients, you need this some kind of either a Wi-Fi shield or in this case, you got it, I got it for a uh, TP-Link 702N. They're about $23 on eBay. And again, if you want it, Need any help with this? And if you'd like to just move to GitHub, just write a note. Request, I'll put it up there.